What a day! It's sports day! I love sports. I love all these ball games. But you know what? I'm worried about Julie. Julie doesn't know the difference between a basketball and a baseball. What the heck is this all about, Ms. Julie? Okay, let's let's clarify. I do know the difference. It's what I choose to spend my time doing, Marvin. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I don't even think you knew who Mickey Mantle was. I did. I just needed the first name to go along with me, with the last name. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh boy, oh boy. We're going to have fun seeing the kids today. Anyway... What about this story? Okay, well, um, Marvin, before we get started with today's story, can you just remind everybody what we learned last week? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Last week, God called Moses to the top of the mountain. When Moses got to the top, God spoke to Moses. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I will give you the 10 best rules to live by. You know, Julie, when I was a kid, we used to call them the 10 commandments, but I like that we call them rules now. Then God told Moses to go on down the mountain and share the 10 best rules with the Israelites. That's right, Marvin. Moses did as he was told. He went down the mountain and he told the Israelites. And so they all lived peacefully for a time while they lived by the 10 best rules. But today we hear a story about what happened when they did not follow those rules. George, could you get us started with today's story? You bet, Julie. Well, one day, after Moses shared the rules with the Israelites, God said to Moses, come up to me on the mountain. I will write down the 10 best rules to live by on stone tablets. Ooh, ooh, and then Moses left Aaron, his brother in charge of the people, and he went up to the mountain to meet with God. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. Oh. That was kind of a long time, so the people got tired of waiting for Moses to come back. They said to Aaron, come, make other gods for us to worship. They will protect us since we don't know what happened to Moses up on that mountain. And then Aaron told all the people, bring me all your gold earrings. He melted the earrings to make a statue of a calf, a cow. Boy, oh boy, the people, they got excited and celebrated the new God who was a calf. And they ate a lot, and they drank a lot, and they danced like crazy. Boo, 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 boo. But God said to Moses, go down the mountain at once. The people have turned away from the 10 best rules, and they're worshiping this golden calf thing. So Moses went down from the mountain carrying the two tablets with God's writing on them. And when he saw the calf and the dancing, Moses threw the tablets down and broke them. And then he burned the golden calf. And Moses said to Aaron, what have you done? Aaron replied, now don't be angry, Moses. The people told me to make gods for them. I collected their gold jewelry I threw it in the fire and it melted and it came out like this calf. Moses told the people, you have not followed the 10 best rules that God gave you. Don't you remember the first rule was that there is only one God? I will ask God to forgive you. Moses went back up the mountain and wrote the law on the two new stone tablets. Oh, hey, George, I have a question. Yeah? I thought that Moses just got the tablets with the rules. How is he already telling the people what to do if they didn't have the tablets yet? That's a great question, Jenny, and I thought of it myself as I was thinking about today. So I went back and I read the whole story. 
and the timeline is a little murky. Thank you. So <laughs> he wrote on the two new stone tablets. What did God say? Well, God said, I am a forgiving God and I am full of love. I love you when you follow the 10 best rules and I still love you even if you don't. So Moses bowed his head and he worshiped God. Oh boy, George, I can't figure it out. Why would people want to worship a golden God? Well, Marvin, in those days and in their culture, the people believed there were all sorts of gods out there who lived so far away they couldn't see them. So sometimes they would build small statues of their favorite god out of gold or wood or stone to make them feel that their god was close by. But in God's 10 best rules, God says, you don't need to make a statue of me because I'm not far away. I'm always with you, even when you can't see me. Mm. Thanks puppets for telling the story. And the timeline that I read in the Bible I was using, it shows that Moses had come down and told the people verbally. So they had only heard the story. And then he went back up to the mountain because God wanted to give him the stone tablets. So now again, that could be murky, but thanks George and Jenny for asking that question. Thank well, you, Julie. Mm -hmm. Well, Marvin, <clears throat> this story, it feels like it tells of a broken relationship between God and the Israelites. What do you do when you have a broken friendship? Oh boy, when friendships are struggling, that's really hard for me. That's tough. I often end up feeling very sad or, or mad at my friend. So I take some time to think about it. I often pray or talk to God about it. I also share my big feelings with a parent or a trusted adult about it. And that seems to help. It seems to help just to talk about it. All of that helps and it gives me courage about how to deal with the situation. I can usually go back and figure something out and be nicer than I was. Hmm. Good job, Marvin. Being courageous and telling people how you feel is really hard work. Time for prayers. Boy, we like saying prayers with you. There continues to be a lot of big feelings out there because of this COVID and it's rainy now and it's cold and oh my goodness, we're facing the winter. I get worried about things. Boy, I'm glad I can talk to God about it and that helps. So we're gonna do a prayer, a breathing prayer about how to get through hard times. Dan, can you help? I'd love to do that, Marvin. And I like this breathing prayer because we breathe all the time and we breathe in and we breathe out. And here's some things you can think or say as you're breathing in or breathing out. So as you breathe in, think to yourself, I'm breathing in God's love. And then as you breathe out, think I'm breathing out worry and fear. You wanna give that a try, Marvin? Boy, I need a prayer like that. Okay. I'm breathing in God's love now. I'm breathing out fear and worry. Oh, I. I feel better. Thank you, God. I can see that, Marvin. All right, let's try it all together. If you'd like to unmute, we'll breathe in and say, I'm breathing in God's love. Breathe I'm breathing in, in God's, God's love. love. And as you breathe out, think, I'm breathing out worry and fear. I am breathing, I'm out, breathing out worry, worry and, and fear. fear. Good job, everybody.